Hi, I'm John Pocket, and I'm going to talk to you about an early Dunton Reading wagon. A proper Dunton Reading wagon was always built on tall wheels. This wagon, as you can see, is in need of complete restoration, but remarkably it's in very fine condition for its age. Built in 1914, and as I said, always on the tall wheels at the back, so you've got a, a wide area expanse for, for rough roads. This is why the Reading wagon was built in this way, so it would stay firmly on the ground where showman's vans were often narrower and would tip over. Now the, the very fine Dunton vans were always built by, with interrib carving. This was the height of, of the expense of the van and it's what every gypsy man would, would want or if he could afford it. Um, coming around the front of the van now we have the, the beautiful Catherine wheel brackets. This wagon um, as I said is a later van and this style of bracket was very much in favour at that time and we've got also the typical Dunton carvings on the crown board with the horse's head with, with, the, with the whip crop going through it. Also, although some are missing, we have the, the carved gargles, which the, the, the two outside ones, or the four outside ones, always used to have a water spout in to, to relieve the water off the roof. We've got a beautiful um, glass in the windows. Um, quite rare to have this, this uh, foliage in red ruby. You'll see it better when we go inside through when, when you see the light coming through it. But the stars in the four corners are, are very traditional even to the early vans. Um, the steps here are quite unique because these steps are um, original. Very very few vans have lasted with their steps because understandably they get all the weather. This, uh, this van has been in Australia which is quite amazing and has been shipped back to this country for resale and it is now the whole van now is waiting to be um, to, to be sold to hopefully a, a very suitable buyer and will be a, f a fabulous unique piece of, of, of English country folk art. Um, we'll work round the van and I'll explain one or two, th two things to, to you. The underworks, which this, this is known as the fore carriage, is is a, a fabulous bit of bit of craftsmanship, and uh, and one can never believe that one would have such an ornate, an ornate piece of uh, work workman's art that that would just need to be turning on on a greased uh, plates here. That's all. Everything worked on on grease. The wheels worked on grease, and. Uh, and so you had to keep this well greased up when you were on the road continually with it. And um, there's very interesting, I don't know if it can be seen here, but there is still a little bit of original paintwork just showing here, um, which was, which is a, um, the chamfer was edged in a, a dark red line, a central thin green line, and then another green line running around it. It, I tell you what, I'm a painter of these wagons and I tell you what, it's, it's, it's a real, real headache to paint these four carriages. There's a tremendous amount of work to be done and what you've got to be terribly careful of is when you're painting these that you don't smudge something you've already done because you, you cannot help but run your sleeve and your arm in, in, into, into wet paint if you're not careful. Anyway, that's, that was my problem and I've, I've done many of these wagons in the past. The, the, the wagons, the, 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 the rear wheels here in, are in very, very poor condition now. This one's in a better condition, although the stock is gone. Th this, is known as the, this is known as the grease cap. The, these are still free, actually. And I'll take him off and show you. That would be filled with grease and then screwed back on tight with a proper spanner, which was supplied with the wagon on when she was new. And th these are known as bell, bell mouth uh, frets. Very, very typical Dunton. These are looked to be have been chromed at one time. The early wagons were in brass, and then later 
the, the, the wagons if you wished and they were nickel plated. I much prefer the nickel plate than the chrome. It's a little bit too glossy and shiny. Um, but this van's got all its grease caps, which is amazing, and all its frets. Right. <laughs> 